What's going on guys and welcome to another cheesy cheesy gameplay here on uh, Destiny. And I'm playing me some Crucible, playing me some Clash, I got me the Hawkmoon, I got me the Matador, and ooh, get Hawkmoon snipe son. Start off with a nice triple to start off the gameplay here and uh, then I get sniped. Wow, look how far that guy is and what kills me. Yep, it's the last word. It's supposed to be a good weapon to use at close range, yet you can still cheese people from halfway across the map. I don't get it. But I'm not here to bitch about the guns, guys. Everybody knows that the triad is the most used combination of all of Crucible. And if you don't know what the triad is, I'm talking about the Hawk Moon, the Thorn, and the last word. Out of the triad, I can easily say that the Hawk Moon's my favorite. It packs a wallop, it has three bullets in the chamber that does considerable damage, and sometimes you can even two-shot or maybe even one-shot somebody to the head. And the Matador, forget about it, the Matador can just one-shot at medium range. This shit is OP, they need to fix it. Um, I could have easily took that guy down if I got a little bit closer. This guy's just punching the air. Don't know where the hell I went, but that's enough about that, guys. So let's talk about the weekly update, guys, as I dunk this gentleman right here. The weekly update is going to address hand cannons. They're going to add more drop-off damage at range, and they're going to slightly decrease the initial magazine size for all hand cannons across the board. The thorn is going to have a one third and I repeat one third of its current burn time finally finally they do something about the most annoying gun in the game to make up for this however they're gonna make it so that the burn can stack up to five times I'm guessing in PVE and the Hawk Moon will now have two bullets that will deal extra damage instead of three Shotguns like the Matador and Felwinter's Lie will no longer have an insane range boost with those range boosting perks that you get from re-rolling them like Rangefinder and Shock Package. They're also going to get nerfed in PvE, so yeah, there won't be as much downing of the Majors and Ultras with shotguns anymore, so get ready for that. Those with Necrochasm, oh, hold on to your butt cheeks. Those with Necrochasm, get ready. It's going to get a huge, huge buff, a well-needed buff. The Cursebringer perk will now proc every time you go for a headshot in PvE. And it will also work in PvP. And also, Assault Rifles are going to get a buff, a 10% damage buff across the board. I'm guessing this is also going to work with... Wow. I failed very badly right there. I'm sorry you guys had to see that. But I'm guessing this is also going to work with PvP as well as PvE. So get ready. A lot of old, old exotics are going to be making a comeback. Those of you who still hold on to their Suros, get ready. It's going to be it's gonna be fun, fun times. The Suros going to make a comeback. A lot of assault rifles are going to be starting to be used. And I can't wait, guys. And don't get me wrong. I love me hand cannons. I love these shotguns, but I love using assault rifles and just misusing them. And this game's all about either scouts or hand cannons, and that's kind of unfortunate. This is one of the only games, though, that I've ever had fun with, you know, semi-auto weapons for whatever reason. And let's also talk about the Galahorn, guys. The Galahorn is going to get a huge nerf. The wolf pack rounds are going to be severely nerfed, hopefully making it so that other heavy weapons might be more viable in raids and in PvP. More likely, you're going to have to find something else to cheese your, uh, your prison of elders and your daily raids. And uh, as much as I love Galahorn, guys, it's going to get a severe nerf and I can't wait because there's going to be other heavy exotics that are going to be used other than the Galahorn. Because honestly that's all I use and I'm quite sick and tired of using that weapon to be honest with you guys. Don't get me wrong guys, I love shooting one or two rockets and then just instantly melting something because I have other things to do with my day. 
But when the entire fire team runs a very overpowered weapon and you quite literally make some of the most hard and most challenging activities in the game a mere laughing stock because of how easily you can destroy it, then you know something needs to be done about that particular weapon. There you have it guys, a lot of very well needed changes, a lot less thorn use and abuse and Gallahorn's getting the thorn. Getting back to this epic gameplay here guys, as I put this baby boy down, sit down son. Yes, I'm using the Matador, probably one of the more cheesiest guns in the game and for very good reason. I just straight up beastify people at like, look at that, I shot him from that range. I didn't kill him, I was hoping to kill him, because if you guys probably don't know this by now, and I don't know who doesn't know this by now, you can shoot a guy out of Blade Dancer, and I do it later on here in the gameplay. Switch to my Cheese Moon, I finally get my target practice, which was my initial reason for getting me on some clash. I wanted to get that target practice bounty. It was just sitting in my inventory. I said, hey, why don't I just hop on, try to see if I can get me a good game, and it happens. And you saw that right there? Yeah, that happened as well, guys. I hate it when my teammates steal the heavy ammo and they don't wait for the team to get it. See, the team is more effective when everybody has heavy ammo, guys. Don't be greedy and needy. Nobody likes those guys. And you can see Buddy there. He puts up his little dome. So, you know, I'm checking my surroundings. My teammates are falling for his trap. I'm, a, I'm like, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. Suicide bomb. Take three dudes out and... Woo! I got my space magic. Oh, yeah. Get teabagged. Get teabagged, nerd. Sorry guys, just having fun here watching my own gameplay and <laughs> snipe this dude with the cheese moon. See at this point of the game I'm like, oh shit. They're everywhere, they're all around me. <laughs> and I just take that guy down. Unfortunately, he lost that fist fight even though he's a titan. And I'm sensing guys here on the radar. Get a little overzealous, snipe that dude off the container over there. Guys, that's a very bad spot to be at. If you know the enemy team is right across from you, try to avoid getting up there. And this guy, see, I told you guys, I told you guys, you can take down the Blade Dancer. They did something to that super. I don't know why and or how. It used to be the most fun super in the game to use and now you can just shoot him out of it, and you can get shot out of it if you don't use it appropriately. Whenever you run that super, make sure you use Hunger, Hungering Blade, because if not, you're just not going to get that many kills. So I'm sitting here waiting, because I know this guy really wants to kill me, because I teabagged him earlier. <laughs> get out of my house, son. Give me that relentless metal. Oh... And the guy just shaka kongs me and I fall to my death. Yeah, not gonna lie, I was a little pissed off right there, but at least I got me that relentless metal. It's not very often I get him. Back to the spot where it all started, guys. Fill those three dudes up like Swiss cheese. And that's the gameplay, guys. I had to get me a little dance because those guys got beastified. Had a lot of fun playing this one game, and it's kind of funny because I wasn't even planning on this gameplay. It just happened. And my final score, guys, is 36-7. and seven. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay, and have a good day. Peace.